Very good morning. My name is Richards. I'm the captain of flight to La Romana. And uh, we are very happy to welcome you to uh, our flight, Eurowings flight, uh, operated by Sun Express. And my first officer this morning will be Janu. Good morning, my name is Janusz Simons and I'm the first officer and I hope you will enjoy this flight to La Romana and we have some interesting information later on for you. And together with my cabin crew we will uh, fly the whole routing from Cologne to La Romana for the Airclips video. In the flight deck we will show you some cool facts we learned during the training and we're using every day for our daily flights. All right, uh, we got the routing already and uh, we checked together the routing for the flight to La Romana. Yep. As you saw, uh, our block fuel will be 63,000 uh, kilograms. We took 400 kilograms of taxi, even we're going to depart from runway 1 for left, which is a short taxi routing. Yep. Uh, Takeoff fuel will be around 62.6 .6 and we have an additional extra fuel of uh, around 14 minutes and the trip time will be 9 hours and 37, maybe 35 minutes. Yeah. The routing itself, we have a random net track routing and we're leaving via, I guess via Adara is our uh, exit point, isn't it? Yeah, it's Adara. All right. In 360. All right. So we are quite, um, we have a quite northern routing, even we have to turn there after a beam, I guess, yeah, Canada to the south. And we fly, we'll fly along the routing around to La Romana and uh, join there after the New York area. Overhead, uh, let's check together. The, yeah, around 45 45. So we're changing from uh, Shenwick to Gander, from Gander to New York. Yeah, let's check. Alright, through the lens is around 3 30. We'll last until, let's say, 5 five hours. Yeah. So we'll tell the cabin to prepare the cabin uh, for light turbulences. And the rest of the routine should be quite smooth until landing and yeah, it's quite good. Yeah. Yeah. The aircraft is fine. Hmm, just to recline <laughs> <laughs> the first officer <laughs> right. seat is not in. Yeah. Can you check it out yeah. now? Yeah, but it's okay. It's, it's okay? fine. It's okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Good. I can, you can sit comfortably. Yeah, for 10 hours, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's 9 hours 35. <laughs> good. Right. Okay, we have this box copy. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Aircraft stand is Alpha 17. Yeah. Alpha 17, yeah. all right. The shuttle is informed. We're Pickup right. will be uh, 25. 25. Yeah. 9.25 local time. I will tell the cabin that the flight time will be around 9.30. 9.35, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. But let's let's try yeah. to climb up to uh, 3.80 because we should be actually Adara at 360, 3.60 and on the first uh, 20 west we should yeah. climb again 3.80. So maybe we can climb already on 3.80. Yeah, already on 3.80, okay. yeah, yeah. shortly before Adara. Okay. So yeah. To save uh, some communications mm -hmm. between yeah. the controller. Yeah, the I'm fine with that. Right. Perfect. Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Our we'll flight to La Romana. Today uh, we will uh, fly uh, 9 hours and 35 minutes. And uh, it will be at the beginning a quite uh, rough flight. We have some turbulences. The turbulence will start around uh, 3 hours 30 and will last till 5. So, in this uh, time, please be cautious with the trolleys and uh, please always be sure that the galley is secured and uh, in La Romana the weather is quite nice we expect a uh, sunny afternoon and the temperatures are around 30 degrees centigrade Jano and I will uh, we'll fly toge together tonight uh, more or less uh, two man cockpit and uh, we ordered the fuel the bus will be here in a couple of minutes Jano do you have any no, just the aircraft stand yeah. is Alpha 17. So it's an open position for mm -hmm. us. And whenever we're ready, we can start the journey.
Good morning. Beautiful day for flying. We will make an outside check right now. This is mandatory before every flight to check that every equipment of the aircraft is fit and safe to fly. So, we start at the left forward fuel brush and we check that all the pedo foreign static ports are uh, free of obstruction. That the outflow valve is clear. That all the antennas are in correct position and not damaged. And, uh, and we continue for the nose section. We check that the AOA probe is intact and uh, the uh, temperature probes down here. And there you can see the pedo probes. We step back a little and we have a clear view of the aircraft. This is the nose wheel and we check the running surface. Here you can see the door of the avionic compartment. This is closed. And then we continue on for the left hand side of the fuse line. So here is cargo loading in progress right now. Right hand engine number two, the CF6, which weighs around five tons and can produce a thrust of up to 310 kilonewtons. We check that the fan blades are not damaged and there are no foreign objects inside the engine. All access doors to the engine are closed. All right. And then you... And you check all the surfaces of the aircraft. This is the leading edge of the right hand wing. So again, we check all the running surfaces of the tires. Here you can see the brake pins, which gives an indication of the wear of the brakes. This is the tail section. Very loud because the APU, the auxiliary car units are uh, running. Which distributes electricity and breed air for the air conditioning.
Yeah, this is quite normal on the ground. This is the second after I arrive on the rear section of the left fuselage. And this is uh, in uh, open configuration on the ground. So right now we are on the left hand side and we are checking the leading edge of the left wing. This looks quite fine, no dents. Okay, now I'm finished with the outside check and we go upstairs to Captain Richard Moulin and to continue with the flight preparation. Okay, Arno, we are uh, standing, our parking stand is right now Alpha 6, Alpha 17, so we will get a pushback and, uh, oopsie, we will taxi from uh, Alpha 17 to runway 14 left. It will be a short taxi routing via Lima, Bravo and Alpha 7 holding point and then we'll make a lineup full runway length for runway 14 left. We expect... Did we get the clearance already? Nope, I didn't can send you send, Yeah, can you can send the clearance. Oh, I don't see. Could I uh, sense? Never need one Papa, it's yeah, fine, yeah. yeah. Uh, we expect never need one Papa departure, only have one for left. The minimum safe altitude is initially 2800 and after we're crossing more or less inbound to Nervin is 3800. Good. So, one for left. We have a 700 feet or above on a course of 136 inbound to Delta Kilo 132. We got an ATC message. One for left, now anyone Papa. Squawk 14105 slots. None. Good. So we got the clearance, that's uh, quite nice. Well, I will uh, continue with the briefing. There we go, Papa. Auto Bomber 14 left. 700 feet or above on a course 136. Inbound to Delta Kilo 132. Thereafter, inbound to Delta Kilo 146, 137, and Nevin. We'll join after Nevin. The airway of Yank 868 to Mount Mahomes. Speed restriction is only 250 below 10,000. 
Yes. Initially, flight level is five plus three forty. You can climb up to three six, and the GPS is on five. The frequency for departure is one two five three five. The second one will be standby. fly. Initial climb will be five thousand seven. Correct. Let's continue with the number so we can put it in the performance in there. Uh, yeah. I calculated the. Can you disconnect the yeah, ground power? Yeah. Let's put the actual. Let's put the actual numbers into the system. Okay. So we have 273 passengers in total. That's where it's down. I got it here on the master. Two seventy three. So we have a take of zero fuel weight of one five five point seven. One five five point seven. And a max zero fuel of twenty eight point three. 28.3 gives us a take of weight of actual of 218.3 tons. Checked. And the landing yeah. mass should be. Oh, it's. Uh, so okay, then. 164.3. Is this correct? We have right now 163.8. We're in the range, it's good. And our step trim is 4 up. Four point zero, right? Yes, correct. And the calculation was done for the departure one four left with a weight of uh, two hundred twenty two. So we are in the safe side. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm but fine. We, uh, I'm fine with that. Perfect. It's a comfortable yeah. departure. Most protection for the flaps. Yeah. And we have an underload of one fourteen thousand two hundred forty kilograms. That's okay. We have some. In there. Okay. Can we uh, compare the numbers uh, uh, okay, yeah. along with you? Yep. Yeah. And for the clearance itself, Nervanich 1 uh, Papa. Papa and yeah. the spoke is 4105. 4105. Initial climb is 5000 feet. Checked. 1, we have 16905. 1, 6, 9, 5, correct? Command 3 is 4, 2, 2, 6. Yes. Command 4 is 4, 6, 6, 0. Yes. And command 5 is 6, 3. Yeah, perfect. That's good. You've got your launch ready? I got it. We will talk about one time. I will have the parking ready set. Yes, Okay, remove the trucks and okay? Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Ciao. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Tschüss. So everything's done, right? Yeah. So this is the load street. Can you close the door? Yeah, if you close the door, I will make a photo of Okay, Thank you, Ladies and gents, good afternoon to my flight deck, your captain on behalf of the entire crew are welcoming this flight to La Romana. We are ready to start, all doors are closed, we'll get our pushback in a couple of seconds. Our flight time this afternoon will be calculated around uh, with uh, 9 hours and 35 minutes. I will give you further details during the cruise, I hope you feel already fine about it, wish a very nice flight. Pins, covers, removed, signs. ADIRS, fuel quantity. We have 62,950 kilos. Altimeters. 1004-250. 1004-250. Windows doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. Is to go. Uh, pipe break. Yes. Before star check is complete. Startup is approved according EOBT or C torps. Then it's then more more. Yeah. So we're we have our startup. Okay. Okay. We are anytime ready for push and start. <laughs>
Hong Kong. Remember last time? We were on time as well. Alright, starting engine number two. Ground? Clear number two. Perfect. It's engine two starts. Since aircraft has eight emergency exits, all exits are equipped with slides. Two exits are the front, four in the middle, and two at the rear part of the cabin. Emergency exits are marked with the words exit. Floor level lightning will guide you to these exits. Okay, you can enter start uh, remove all the equipment and I will be on the right hand side. Alright, see you on the right. Bye bye. 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 So my phone company comes up. And um the that one, the most important thing to go to these points. Sunglasses. Alright, flight controls. Are you ready? Yep. Full up. Full down, neutral, full left, full right, neutral. So he's giving you a sign. Can you give it now? Okay. Yeah, perfect. And watch out the button. Full left, full right, neutral. Alright, uh, Mama, after start? No? Oh, yeah, sorry. After start, NTS. Oh. Ecom status. Six. Trim. We have 27.7%. Seven. Zero. Okay, so we have After start check is complete. Okay. Uh, Uring 142 heavy request taxi. Uring 142. Yes, start taxi, bravo, you in one foot. Right here. And left is the spot. Up to the left. Yeah. Ring 757, as soon as the X330 from the left has passed, left right, continue bravo for bravo 30. All wings 757 behind the A330 from left to right, continue bravo, bravo 30. Yeah, it's so. nothing else possible. Yeah. Going front for two, the first airbus is now just leaving taxiway. So continue Alpha 7 holding point. Yep. 
Two wings one four two continue Alpha seven holding point one four. Perfect. This traffic is gone. Yeah. Good. Brakes. Brake pressure is zero. Ready on one two four and seven show. Well, the nice thing today is taxi. I yeah. love to taxi, yeah. <laughs> especially with this big one. It's quite nice. So there's one traffic in there. The weather the test is done. Before take off flight controls, Checked. checked flaps. Two. Two. Take off speeds and flaps. Yeah, the mic proper turn left heading one, one six zero. Clear track to direct approach runway one for left heading. Flex. Left one six zero. We are clear. One five one. One five six. Flex thirty eight. Eco memo. Take off number two. Down to number two. Take off runway. One four left full length. One four left full length. And flex. On engines. Before take off check is complete. Ready for departure. Current tower more Durings 142 heavy ready for departure. Okay, 142 and one next in one five miles A before expedition departure. Affirm. Yeah, F142 wind 120 degrees one one knot, runway one for left, clear for takeoff. Durings 142, runway one for left, clear for takeoff. Cabin crew prepare for departure. Good. Let's make it rolling. You are ready? Yeah. Good. Starting water, chrono, it's good. So left hand is clear. One for left by the numbers. Climb, 
Flaps, Ohr. Speed Check. Flaps noch. Radar more Eurings 142 heavy passing 2200 Dominic 1 pop. Eurings 142 are identified, climb by SID flight level 150. Eurings 142 climbing 150 by SID. Atlantic. 
northern part of the Atlanta at once. Uh, it's Bon Hangela, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Hiya, it's a good idea later on. We must have Romeo for the clearance in 20 seconds. Okay, uh, sir Romeo. Contact Russell's 128 decimal 450 by Russell's on 128 450 units 142 by Speed running is speed contest Russell's good morning Euro Wings 142 heavy passing 186 timing flutter with 200 direct Malak Euro Wings 142 versus good morning direct contact Lambda class level 240 Here is 142 climb, Continue climb plan level 300, out of level 250, direct to Dana. Here is 140 climb, flat level 300, out of 250, direct Dana. Check out 372, uniform maintain level 310, when reaching some of the traffic, one minute out to the south, above your grade level going 767. Oh. Oh. Uh, once more, good afternoon from the flight deck, your captain with some brief information to our flights. As we took off from uh, Köln inbound to the southeast, returned uh, inbound to Brussels, we overflew London Heathrow and uh, crossed Ireland. Uh, right now we're overhead the North Atlantic and uh, heading inbound to the east coast of the States. We'll pass by also Neufundland and uh, thereafter return inbound to the south. Inbound to the Bermudas, uh, we, we will overfly the Turks and Caicos Islands. Uh, thereafter, we will be after a short uh, while inbound to La Romana. We're on time right now. We expect uh, landing at uh, 2:25 uh, local time. That's around uh, in seven hours, and our speed right now is indicated with 835 kilometers per hour over ground and uh, the altitude at the moment 38,000 feet, which equal equals around 11,600 meters. And during the afternoon, we will try to climb a little bit higher to save some fuel. The passengers, I hope you feel fun on board, enjoying the flight with us. Have a very nice afternoon, and as soon as we get the weather of uh, La Romana, we'll call you back. Uh, good uh, afternoon again from the flight deck. It's, uh Richards and uh, we are already airborne. We are overhead the North Atlantic. We departed from Cologne. We passed uh, by Ireland and right now we are in the Schenvik FIR. We are approaching uh, the coordinates of uh, 50 north, 30 west, and uh, we may expect some light turbulence in the next uh, few minutes. But uh, the weather here up uh, in the sky is quite nice, it's sunny and uh, we uh, will have the whole uh, afternoon a nice uh, nice ride to La Romana. Uh, our takeoff uh, in Cologne was uh, quite 
uh, long we had to taxi very short that's uh, very uh, unconvenient for the cabin crew because they have to prepare for the uh, departure that the cabin is secured and uh, when uh, we were approaching the holding point the runway and another traffic was inbound and uh, we were cleared for takeoff uh, in front of the traffic so we had a chance to make a rolling takeoff immediate takeoff the takeoff weight itself, uh, our aircraft uh, was quite heavy. We had 218 tons, and uh, our speed was uh, around 280 kilometers per hour during the rotation. And uh, our initial climb was uh, 18,000 feet, as I remember. And after we got the clearance to climb up to 38,000 feet, right now we are at 38,000 feet. And we've continued at that uh, level until we burn off a little bit of fuel to get a little bit lighter to continue up to 40,000 feet. The flight itself we have uh, around 6 hours and 30 minutes to go and uh, we expect an on-time landing in La Romana. We will uh, land at uh, 2.30 local time. Very convenient for us because uh, after the landing we have to take the bus to uh, to the hotel the shuttle and uh, thereafter we will immediately change our dresses and uh, we will jump into the Japanese restaurant because they're over there they have very nice sushi and there is live music as well We are now uh, overhead the uh, Shenwick uh, FIR and uh, we have no, not really a VHF or HF communication. We are communicating with the controllers uh, down there in Shenwick via ARCROSS. So we have our box, we can put all our uh, requests, either it's uh, vertical or lateral requests, speeds and deviation requests into the box. To our Arcus system, and within a couple of seconds, we get the answer from uh, Shenwick. Arcus uh, will guide us until I guess uh, it will be around New York area, and uh, during New York FIR, we will most probably get kicked out, and uh, we'll back up again with uh, VHF uh, radio communication. In the economy, we have uh, basic and smart. In smart fare, they have one hot meal one cold meal and drinks included. Uh, my colleagues worked in the economy class with um, our trolley. They prepare everything for that. We start first with the hot meal. After that, two colleagues goes and serves the drinks. And then we make, uh, sometimes it depends on the flight, how long, how the passengers feel, hungry or not. Then we make a service again. And before we are landing two and a half hours or three hours before we are landing, we start the second service. I will make you a hot coffee. And it's the best way on the aircraft to stay fit and awake. A lot of flatter than drink a lot of coffee, trust me. So, a cool coffee maker. Be careful, enjoy your hot coffee. Cheers. Well, you're uh, you're watching the movie right now about our flight uh, to La Romana and I guess yeah, you're interested into, into flying, into aviation, into politics stuff. Uh, I can uh, just tell you that it's not that hard as you believe to become a pilot. There are uh, a lot of ways and a lot of career possibilities in aviation. There is a European Flight Academy which uh, assists you into uh, piloting, into getting uh, as well a good career into the Lufthansa Group. And uh, don't be worried about financing. Uh, today you can get uh, good loans and easy loans to become a pilot. And uh, the schools 
there are so many possibilities after your school, school career, after your education as a pilot, to get into the cockpits. Uh, either you start on the short routes in the medium or in the long haul, as we do right now. And uh, there are always ways to, uh, to get into the cockpit. Doesn't care how old you are, which background you have, and uh, which school you finished. What about languages? Actually, uh, if you don't speak German, English is good. If you are not that well in English, you get a training anyway. Aviation English is not that difficult. And uh, to get more information, you can see over here at the website uh, how to uh, get into aviation, into the politics. Well, how did I become a pilot? Actually, uh, it was a quite uh, interesting way as uh, I finished my school. I, uh, I started to uh, get interested into aviation and into aircraft itself. And uh, started my career uh, actually in Vienna, in uh, Austria. I started uh, on the Dash 8400, which is a turboprop aircraft. It's a uh, short, medium hole. But, uh, thereafter, uh, I had a chance to uh, to fly for uh, a Turkish company, Sun Express, on a 737 for nearly five years. And uh, after that, uh, I applied for the long haul. And uh, yeah, I did the. Uh, examinations and the interviews and passed all of them and uh, flying right now for uh, more than uh, yeah, let's say one and a half years on uh, on that uh, 330 the challenge itself is uh, that you're coming from the short haul it's a totally different operation going on the medium haul which is again different and the whole long haul is a little bit more relaxed on the other side, uh, we're sitting here right now uh, for already five and a half hours. Well, we did two turns for about 10 degrees to the left or to the right. And uh, we will sit here another three hours until we reach our destination. But it's a quite, uh, it's a quite nice uh, opportunity to see different corners of this uh, planet, which you can never do it on the short haul. I started as a first officer, actually as a second officer and became a first officer and now I'm a captain for more than 10 years. And, uh, well, I like it. Actually, I love it. I love to fly. Every day I'm sitting in the aircraft, it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Operation on the A330 uh, 
thirty, and uh, that's what I started last year in August with the time grading. And so on the Eclipse channel, you can see quite a lot of uh, cockpit videos uh, of, of different airliners, and uh, most of them they they uh, introduce their aircraft as one of the best airliners in the world, but. Uh, we are now here in the A330, and, and this, probably this is really the best aircraft you can find. Since, uh, like on many other aircraft uh, from other manufacturers, you don't have a table for them. So, for eight or nine hours flight time, this is our office. If you're still, still really not satisfied and sure if you become a pilot, or if you want to become a pilot, then look at our layover. Eurowings uh, in Cologne and uh, as I told you before I came from the medium hole uh, 737 as a captain and uh, started here as a captain on a 330-200 in the name of Eurowings uh, employed by Sun Express. with my approach briefing. Good, good, my friend. So the big picture itself, we have a short runway. We're still quite heavy with around 100, so I expect 166 tons for landing. And uh, the air field is okay, the weather is good, and the notons we check together at the yeah. departure. At the Let's start with the fuel. The extra fuel during the arrival will be around 26 minutes, it's 2.1 tons. And uh, in case of uh, diversion to Santo Domingo, the routing for the approaches in there, if we cannot land there, we will go around, discontinue, we go to Santo Domingo, and uh, 
The fuel will be uh, around 4.5 if we are landing in Santo Domingo, so it's quite good fuel-wise. For the flight plan itself, the top of the sand is starting uh, 17.50. We will proceed by uh, Karen and Mackey to Petri. Thereafter we'll start the Petri 1 Delta arrival. The Petri 1 Delta is leading us inbound to uh, Lima Romeo 410 and to Bieben. Overhead Lima Romeo 410 we have a speed constraint of uh, 220 knots and an altitude constraint of 6780 feet. And overhead uh, Bieben we have a speed constraint of 210 knots and an altitude constraint of 2450 feet. Or above. Thereafter we will continue inbound to Lima Romeo 450 to Virno, which is more or less an auto marker and 3, deg 3 degrees descent, 2000 or above. And then the minimum today is, let me check again, for the Romeo 11, Arnold GNS approach is 690 feet plus a 50 increment, gives us 740 set. In case of Gorons, at uh, Lima Romeo 455, at 640 feet or above, we'll continue inbound to Lima Romeo 456, inbound to Mopo, uh, and climb to 3000 feet. Join in the Then, the performance itself, as we briefed before, we have uh, QNH of 101, a temperature around 27 degrees. The wind right now is 70 with 10. We will get an update as soon as we get in contact with the tower. The transition level is 185. Approach should be around 134 and the clean speed is 205. VLS is 129 now. Minimum 740 as a brief. It will be a comfort full landing. And the calculation was done. Check again. Oh, it's done. It's gone. Let me put again the numbers into the landing tool, we got a wind of 70 with 10, gives us a landing distance of 2062 meters which is vector, it's around 2370 meters, so the margin will be nearly 600 meters, is it okay for you? Yeah, okay. Good, so I will plan a full landing full and auto break low. After the landing, we have to make a back track, so we are coming in Army 1-1, we will make a touchdown, we will land, and we have to backtrack again on the runway 29 uh, Most probably we will vacate if there's no other aircraft parking there, Alpha 2, and go to the apron. And normally, as I remember, last time we were parking around 3, 4, or 5. So, perfect. So for the performance itself, I'm done. They're after the Ratnav. Right now there's nothing in there, it's quite too early to put something. And the approach will be done where enough and flat path name. So since we have a 3 degrees flat button angle and the minimum sector altitude is 2500 feet, should be no fact at all. The vertical speeds, the descent rate should be around, yeah, let's say initially with the ground speed, should be around initially 180, so they want us to reduce the speed as soon as possible. I guess it will be around uh, 700 to 800 feet and after we go on the 3 degrees. We will do a stabilized approach. They want us to establish as soon as possible. If there is a visual contact with the ground and the airport, and most probably they will ask us for a visual approach, we can do the visual approach as well. Yeah. I will fly with the autopilot and as soon as we have the ground inside, disengage the autopilot with the manual. Do you have any no questions? Thank you very much. Euro wing 142, contact Miami Center 126.45. Miami 126.45, you're in company to get it. My name is Ewing's 142, heavy descent, flat level 3 down 
Das ist gut. So, jetzt bin ich da. Ja. 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 Spent the whole evening at the pool. What day is sunset? The local time. Uh, it's 142 heavy, cross the Arcevo intersection at maintain front of two of an Azevo. Means 142 cross Azevo and maintain flood of a 270. 270. All new speeds to sense. So, cross pulse. I think it's pretty well here. You have to call Santo Domingo, 10 minutes before entering Santo Domingo. Huh? Okay, to see. Yep. Santo Domingo control, the way you is 142 heavy. Zero one four two seven zero. Okay. Three one four two seven zero. 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 Three one four two
Three zero zero four two four one. Oh shit. Looks a little bit cloudy, but it's nice, but nice. We can see the islands. The islands. So after by the so initial approach fix, three tiles, inbound is one zero nine, initial fix. Good, the GPS primary is on high. Okay, we're still in Priority is 2.0, estimated is 0.09. That's okay for us. Yeah. Approach. Yeah. Okay. Approach. Yeah. Okay. Approach one zero zero in count forty two heavy passing one nine or six descending one six times. Zero in one four two left America approach towards the radar contest, descend to four thousand feet, break to five. Zero in one forty two descending four thousand feet direct five. Hopefully four thousand units three zero uh decimal zero four. Flaps 
and below MSA. Checked. Oh, this is. S16 Ewings 142 direct. On the racing. Now Romana, Tower, Buenos Gut. Machen wir es in Zeit. Starting at Vierno.
approach of 11 with 0 8 0 degrees 1 to knots. And uh, report uh, pressure, continue approach number 1 1. Traffic at point 763, making 180 at the end of the wrong way. Okay, call the 866, continue approach. Can you meet us? Yes, we are uh, at 330. Uh, sir, we are at uh, 330. Station call the second. Uh, we are at 330. That was 32. 832, right, thank you. Directo a aviación general, viento 050 grados, 1 0 nudos, con H3001, sin insuficiencia en el Parking, engines, radar predicted windshield, fuel pumps, park brake, parking, checklist completed.